Hey everyone, welcome back to Getting Techie with SAS Alerts. In today's video, we are going to talk about data centers, specifically the data centers that will typically live outside of your approved location, and you may or may not want to whitelist the entire country. Uh, this also happens very frequently with Microsoft, but in today's example, we are going to be using DigitalOcean. But the way that you're going to whitelist these will pretty much be the same, whether you're using Microsoft, uh, DigitalOcean, pretty much any of the providers, uh, as long as they have an accurate ASN name. So let's jump into the product and let's take a look at a couple of events that we have here that are causing some outside approved location, specifically for file events. Uh, in this example, we are looking at a DigitalOcean server that is in Singapore. You can take a look at this, and we're getting a, a lot of these outside approved location file events, which are typically going to be escalating what would normally be a low priority event up to a medium or possibly even a critical. So let's do this. Let's zoom out a little bit and let me show you how we can whitelist this uh, specific uh, ASN. So the company that we are going to be looking at is called Google Workspace SAS Alerts. Uh, and by the way, this works for Google, Microsoft, it doesn't really matter. It, it's, it's product agnostic. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and open up my organizations in a new tab, and I'm going to navigate over there. All right, so once we are at the organization screen, we have a couple of uh, options of uh, how we're going to get to where we need to go. Uh, you can either click on the little pencil icon over here to edit the organization. You can also edit the whitelist from this edit a link over here on the right. I'm going to click on this edit right here since my mouse is already there and we could uh, go ahead. We can add it here. Um, this is uh, a quick, an easy way for us to add that ASN. Uh, I want to show you this method. I want to show you the other one, too. Uh, if we drop down this list, we have a couple of the data centers that are already predefined. You're welcome to find your uh, de your uh, data center in here, but if it's not one that's listed, we can add them manually by just typing in the ASN at this uh, field as well as the country. Uh, let's do this. Uh, before we add it here, I want to show you the other option just so you're familiar with both. I click on the pencil icon. I'm going to make myself just a little bit smaller. And we're going to go up to whitelisting. And here we have where we can add them manually. Uh, also, same list is right there, too. It's two different ways to get to the same destination. So we need our ASN name. So if we go back to analysis and once we're under analysis, we can either get that information straight from this IP address information here. Uh, you'll see on the right, or we can also drill in to the event as well and pull that same information. Let's do that. Let's uh, I'll show you both ways. So obviously you copy and paste that. If we drill into the event, clicking on that little magnifying glass, we can also see that that same information is listed here. So let's do this. Let's grab our IP owner or ASN name. They should be identical. I copy that. And let's go back here and drop that into our ASN name. And now it's advising us to improve security and rather than whitelist the entire ASN, let's add a country. And that country that we were just working with uh, was Singapore. All right, and click on that. And now we have that done. Uh, if it is something that's in, you know, it has a state code or a city code and you want to add that as well, that's totally up to you. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it off and let's go ahead and hit the add button. All right, so once we have added it, you'll see it down here at the bottom. If you ever want to, you can exit to remove it. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much about it. Uh, there is one thing I want to cover real quick while we are still under this menu. If you do have just maybe one or two accounts that happen to be accessing data centers outside of your approved location and you don't want to whitelist the entire company for it, uh, you can do that by clicking on accounts. OK, let's say that we're going to be adding a data center for Charles Buck. We find his user here. We go all the way over to the right and we click on the edit button. And you'll be presented with that same little pop up that you saw when you clicked the edit button from the organizations. So let's do this. Let's scroll down and see what kind of data centers we have. Oh, here you go. Let's just use Amazon. So we click on Amazon and it's filled out all the information for us. The only thing we have to do now is click on add. And you can see right down here, our ASN list now has that data center. We can go ahead and hit save all rules. And we can see at the um, underneath the whitelist here, if I zoom in a little bit, there we have our Amazon data center 
underneath his whitelist for San Jose, California, US. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that again, and I'm just going to remove it. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's the that's the quick and dirty, and that will help really cut down on the outside approved location coming from uh, file events, of, especially for ones that you know from Microsoft. Microsoft's really uh, known to be doing this quite frequently. The IP address that they will report to us is the one that is either storing their data or possibly even load balancing it. Either way. It's not very convenient and does end up generating a lot of background noise. So it's a little bit of work, but I think it's really going to pay dividends, especially when it comes to uh, cutting down on that noise hitting your help desk. And it's a much better way of, of whitelisting those ASNs uh, than we have actually suggested in the past. So if you did watch the previous video, uh, about handling Microsoft data centers and you lower the outside approved location down to a low and used respond, you can keep doing that. But the safer way is to use this option. Put that outside approved location back up to a medium or a critical, remove that rule and just start whitelisting the ASNs. It's just going to it's going to provide you much more security and you're not going to miss any of these outside approved location alerts. Well, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our support department. You can also join our Discord, and we're always happy to talk to you there, too. I right, hope you have a good one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.